Hi loves, welcome back. So this is a Get Ready With Me featuring the Dula hair and I'm rocking their Brazilian curly. This hair is everything. I know you guys can see the lace a little bit in the front so I would definitely just, you know, put for more foundation on that. Um, this is a hot glue unit. This is like some really pretty hair. I had no problems with it. I think this unit is actually sold on my website. Um, I didn't keep it because I'm just making so many wigs and I already mentioned that in another video to the point where I do not need all of these wigs okay so I'm starting off with my Fenty Beauty primer um it just feels like lotion I've said it before um a lot of people you know beauty gurus and stuff like that on here have said the same thing so I mean I don't know y'all I don't use primer all the time so this is my color pop uh brow pencil I ran out of my other one so this one is a little bit lighter than my actual brows like my brows seem like they're jet black but yeah it it's just gonna have to work for now so i'm using a tarte shape tape in tan sand to clean up my brows and like i said i know some people don't like to do the top but i like to do the top i just think it gives it a cleaner look like it gives you the like just arched look i'm using my amazing cosmetics i got this about a year ago um a company sent it to me and um, it's okay. It just like mutes out the darkness. I used it on Kirsten. It was pretty good. Uh, I would say, like I said, it's pretty shiny. Like it's pretty thick in my opinion. So I got this from Khadijah, my makeup forever lustrous. Did I say that right? I don't know. But I got that from her. It is everything. That's what I was saying. So I'm going to take this like brownish color. I don't really know. And I'm going to use that on basically as a transition so it's just going to be the first color i apply you can use an eyeshadow base if you want i didn't <laughs> so i'm taking this like mauvey burgundy ish color like i don't really know what to call it but i'm putting it on my lid and you know that everybody really loved this eye look or this um makeup look period and i was like i got a video coming for it <laughs> so this is like a golden shimmer color and it <sighs> I don't really know I didn't really like it it was like I wanted it to stand out a little bit more like I wanted it to pop a little bit more which is why you're gonna see me go back later with my highlighter so I'm blending this black and brown I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line and smudge it out just a little bit just to give my eyes a little more definition and to kind of connect the eyeliner when I do put it on anyway so this is a clean color um, eyeliner. I got this from Shop Miss A. So you know it was a dollar. I use like dollar stuff every day. If it's not lashes, it's I, I don't even use eyeliner every day anymore. But definitely my lashes. My favorite lashes are the Cara 805s from Shop Miss A, and they are a dollar. I stock up on twenty at a time. So yeah, this um foundation is the Fenty Beauty in number four ten. Um yeah, it's good for my winter shade. Cause I do get like a shade or two lighter in the winter, but I use 420. Well, I plan to use 420 in the summer. I was using it at the uh, beginning of fall. So yeah, I use about a pump and a half on each side. Uh, this foundation goes a long way and it lasts a really long time. And people ask about it, like what foundation do you use? I'm like, I've been using Fenty, honestly. Once I get something, I just start using it all the time. So I use the um, matchstick from Fenty as well in caramel to like be a base. And then I went on top of that with tan sand. And now I'm using truffle to contour. So I'm going to let the um, concealer sit a little bit under my eyes and stuff while I contour. Uh, a lot of people say this dries fast and you want to move with it quickly. You know, you want to work with it quickly. Um, It's okay. You know, when it sits for a while, it doesn't give me too much of a problem. So you, I'm blending it out now. I don't really have a problem. My beauty blender, uh, I just need to wash all my brushes, y'all. But I'm just going to blend this out. Um, this was probably the longest process ever. You know, when I have, when I use that Tarte Shape Tape, it takes really long because I really be wanting, you know, to get a seamless blend. And yeah, I don't be wanting it to look all crazy. So once I'm finally done blending, I'm going to set it with Ben Eye. Um, I just fell back in love with Ben Eye Setting Powder and Banana. Um, because I used it the other day when I did my New Year's Eve or new year's casual lookbook and everybody loved that makeup look and i was like yo 
this it is nice um but i use ben eye and i was like yeah you know that's that's it right there <laughs> so i'm using my sleek contour kit in the shade dark 886 just to set that uh contour i did earlier and then i'm going to use these lashes from our noir.com it is a black owned business you know because a lot of people do like when i mention that so they could go support so yeah i'm using these lashes and i believe they're in the style three but i think this is like the most dramatic one if it's not three it's the most dramatic one um uh, i don't know i like the lashes like they look beautiful but i feel like they're a little bit heavy for me so i'm going in with clean color um setting powder in a shade walnut again from shop miss a it is a dollar i stock up on like three at a time so yeah but about the lashes like they're beautiful but i like the clear band lashes and these are black so I'm going to set, oh gosh, I almost knocked the mic over. <laughs> I'm going to set my face with the NYX setting spray, the matte one. I'm going to put this matchstick in the shade rum as like a highlight base. Um, I did this in another get ready with me as well. So once I do that, oh my gosh, so I'm using Glow Nista Rose Glow. Now I have all four shades that Passion came out with and people like came for me in my review and was like basically try to make it seem like oh i'm lying about it like i don't have to lie about anybody's product you understand especially if i bought it myself like yes she sent me the setting spray and she sent me a highlighter i bought the others on my own like people just you know they just talk like but anyways um you can see it's popping uh when i put it in my tear duct and i use it as my brow highlight you're gonna see it's popping like i don't like i don't sit up here and lie for nobody you understand like nobody <laughs> So anyways, this is like a light pinky, um, yeah, it's like a pinky, pinkish, you know, highlighter. Um, it, it's really pretty to me. So for my lips, I'm going in with Chili Chili. And, um, this is an ultra matte. I got this like a year or two ago from ColourPop. And then on top of Chili Chili, um, what I go in with? I think Monday. So yeah, I'm just going to line my lips kind of with Chili Chili. Go on top of that with Monday. But Monday wasn't bright enough for me. Like, I wanted it to pop a little bit more. Like, this was cute, but I just wanted something extra. Like, I wanted a lighter lip. So, I'm going on top of that with Clean Color Lavenderism. I think that's the name of it. And I got this from Shop Miss A. I love this lipstick. I don't like the smell of it. It smells like a vanilla, but it's kind of overwhelming. So now that the song break is over, you see my hair look crazy, y'all. But that's the outcome after I slick it in a bun for a whole week. It just be, it just, I don't know, y'all. So I put it in a bun because I didn't feel like braiding it and it needed to be washed. So, um, yeah, I just put on my, it's the closest uh wig cap to my skin complexion. So it's like a medium brown. So this is the hot glue unit. <sighs> I glued it on a spandex cap, like a... It's basically like the same fabric as my stocking cap. I don't really like the hot glue method on, like it sits really nice and it feels really lightweight and stuff like that. Like it's good, but I don't like the residue that, you know, is on the inside. But if, you know, people don't mind that, that's cool too. But I just had to find a way to, it sticks to my mannequin head. So to do, to counteract that, I put a dome cap underneath the stocking cap but you have to be careful when you're sewing down your closure because you might sew it to the dome cap and you don't really want that you want it to just be sewn to the stocking cap the dome cap is just there to catch any extra hot glue and you can easily peel off the dome cap so I figured out a way to kind of do them but the residue will always be there so yeah I guess I can use like hair glue but I like the hot glue it's quicker uh, it's neater but whatever so this is the final look um, the hair is untamed. I have a video coming after this and the hair is going to be pretty, um, not really tamed, but it's going to be less big, you know, I'm mean, it's going to be smaller than this and it's going to be more wearable. Cause this is like a dramatic, I mean, I like big hair. I love big hair and I don't have a problem wearing this hair, but you know, some people don't like huge, you know, huge afros and stuff like that. Um, but this is a style for me like I do like this but I'm gonna also come back with a you know maintaining curly hair styling it and detangling it video as well
So thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this look. A lot of people asked about this makeup and I did say I was gonna bring it to y'all. I'm sorry it's a little bit late, but this is in my, I think my long Kai try on hauls and stuff like that. So be sure to check those out as well.